Hello. <clears throat> it's um. Yeah, I think I did introduce the date Thursday, <clears throat> October twenty first, two thousand twenty one, at five fifty p.m. So. <clears throat> I forgot my lunch today. I thought I was sure I was going to remember to bring it. I mean, not my lunch, my dinner. So I have to wait until after work to eat it. <clears throat> so I was a little bit behind today, but because I don't have my dinner, <clears throat> I caught up. I mean, I guess I'll catch up on time. So, um, today I mentioned that I forgot my dinner, and a lady offered me a muffin, and uh, at first she offered me like a peanut butter Uncrustables, peanut butter and jelly, and I'm like, nah, no thanks, I don't, I don't, eat. I love peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I don't like the Uncrustables, <clears throat> and so, um, it seemed like, I, it, it looked to me like as if she got really mad when I turned down the offer for the um <clears throat> for the the muffin. Well, she offered me blueberry, and I'm like, ah, no thanks. And I mean, at first I wasn't gonna take. It. I said I'll be all right, but she's like, <gasps> you like you don't want you don't want you don't want the muffin. Like, and I start to get kind of scared, you know, because it seemed like she got, like, really mad. But, you know, it was packaged, you know. But me sitting here thinking about, you know, what just recently happened about M Monique bringing up the donut incident, like, from a couple of years ago, and now the perp's been taunting and harassing me about that every day, like, as if I'm not supposed to be allowed to accept food from anybody, I mean, I was when that guy offered me that I was homeless on the streets at that time, so <clears throat> so it's like they want to make me out to be just a greedy pig and dog and desperate for a donut and and everything like that. When I think that it was kind of the scenario with the with the other guy, um, because at first I was like, no thanks, I'll be all right, because I think I already had breakfast that day. And I explained that um, I saw him go into the store, you know, the donut shop, and I kept my eyes on him the whole time, and he bought it honestly. And and then, you know, but they have some fake T.I. perps who try to act like a narcissistic control freak fake friend, <clears throat> and they want to try to implant that idea to try to, in, in, your, in your head, that you should be extra paranoid and fearful of these perps. Like, they want to put that idea in your head to try to scare, frighten and scare you so that they can act like they think they're your handler and try to think they got more control over you. You know, so... So, um... So am I supposed to not allow, be allowed to accept anything from anybody? You know, so... I accepted the the muffin, and um, but I didn't eat it, and I don't plan. I don't. I think I was just gonna save it for the weekend. <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna eat it today, but I'll save it for the weekend. <clears throat> but I mean, my conscience being nagged, like as if I harmed somebody. You know that you brought that. She brought that situation up. And then trying to, of course, narcissistic abusers always hurt you and then try to front, like, they try to control you and try to hurt you and then make it like as if they're looking out for your best interest. Well, you ain't looking out for my best interest if you condemning me and calling me greedy, a greedy pig and everything like that. You know, so, I mean, I would have, I, I mean, any other time I would have just, you know, Said sure, I'll take the um, I'll take the muffin, but me being hesitant, oh, like I'm not supposed to be allowed to accept anything from anybody. 
<clears throat> you know, so they try to make memes and jokes and try to clown me, you know, and make it like I was that greedy and desperate for a donut and stuff like that. And then Star Bricker went on a Buy Me a Coffee website and made her own fake profile mocking, <clears throat> you know, about herself being murdered and um, talking about, oh, a funeral is very expensive and she wanted to make it like she was raising $100. And then um, to mock me, to mock my GoFundMe. <clears throat> and also, um, she's the one who was on Quora talking about a T.I. wants me murdered. I'm talking about a T.I. wants her murdered and stuff like that. Because you know how a lot of us targeted individuals get frustrated and wonder how the, how the perps can get away with so much. And we feel like these bastards deserve to go die, you know. But they're trying to kill us. <clears throat> so, um, they're trying to kill us. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, And and then she um, you know, Star Bricker tried to mock you know the idea of you know buy me a coffee and then switched it to buy me a donut for five dollars or whatever. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, I mean, and then the veggie just perp. I refuse to call her J Angel Raw Honey, J Demon Rotten Shit. <clears throat> you know. Come back and harassing me again on buy me a coffee, and I don't want to look like a little petty little tattletale that every time they every comment they say something that I do a video like as if I'm a, being a, a YouTube tattletale, you know. But y'all harassment is petty, not me reporting what y'all are doing, <clears throat> you know threatening to call up everybody in Pensacola and West Pensacola. And now she's making threats to call up every hotel and every motel and every school and saying that she got the contacts to Myrtle Grove School. <clears throat> well, I don't even work at Mur Mur Myrtle Grove School <clears throat> or wherever that is, you know. And so, um threatening to call up the all the hotels and motels and libraries and tell them about me. <clears throat> Just freaking ignorant, you know. And you really have the, t I mean, if you have a nine to five or if you have a career and a high income, how do you have the, I, I mean, with my eight, I mean, with my eight hour janitorial job, I wouldn't have that time <clears throat> to go and, um, research <clears throat> about an online stranger and look down the list and just call up every library, every hotel and motel, every restaurant and do whatever and just tell and and then she's so ignorant talking about oh I, I'm a, I'm going to tell all of South Florida about you. I'm not in so Pensacola is not in South Florida. You're so ignorant. <clears throat> Pensacola is not in South Florida. And then she tried to address me as, look, little girl. Call me a little girl. <clears throat> I, I mean, nobody's saying that this veggie just perp. Or should I just say Jessica? Nobody's saying that Jessica has issues. Or her own kind of mental problem. Because <clears throat> she, she seems like she bullies everybody. Everybody. You know, if you... What, why why are you unhappy <clears throat> if you have a high income? Why, why do you feel the need to be unhappy? <clears throat> you know, you have things that most people are deprived of. And you're, st you're still... um unhappy I mean look like she has a nice new kind of vehicle with a sunroof <clears throat> you know 
and I didn't come here <clears throat> like in a bad mood, you know, just before doing this video. But then when I saw, you know, more comments, I mean, I would hate to be forced to shut down my buy me a coffee website. You know, I mean, that page. <clears throat> I would hate to be. I would hate to be forced to shut it down. You know, the fact that I can't block people on there. But I've been reporting, you know, their harassment. And I can't block anybody on there. And, um... <clears throat> and, and so... You're not even in Pensacola, but you think you can control how I live in Pensacola. Or everybody act like they think think they have the authority to dictate that I should not be allowed to be in Pensacola. <clears throat> so, don't complain about me begging on the streets or being homeless. Don't complain about me begging if you're trying to get my job taken away. If you if you have that intent to try to get my job taken away. <clears throat> so I mean I have I I I mean and it's like I guess I I mean they're sit, sitting there telling me what they're going to do. Well, she's sitting there telling me what she's going to do to me. You know, and as I mean, I don't know if she's just talking shit or if she's really is doing this to me. Like, <clears throat> and, and nobody's going to say, well, mind your business. Like Star Bricker, when she makes false reports and she doesn't tell me in advance, I'm going to do this. She just straight does it. Like she just straight up call up, you know, whatever restaurant I'm at and falsely report me and show them my YouTube videos and she doesn't say well I'm going to do this <clears throat> you know so <clears throat> it's like I had looked into trying to see about getting me a car but I was told that one of the main things hindering me right now is not having a permanent address. And then um, they say I would have to put at least 1500 down for a car. I mean, I just want to know for like future references, like if I were to work on planning, what, what, do, what is it that I need to do, you know, to get me for me, me to be able to get me a car? You know, so I've seen people homeless on the streets and they were able to obtain a car, you know, but I guess they were getting like disabled veteran benefits or whatever, you know, which is usually much higher than what I get. So, um, <clears throat> since... I thought I would try to see about trying to get my own car since they sabotage and attack my transportation, you know, threatening, oh, I'm going to contact, you know, the Pensacola Uber and tell them all about you and all your videos and stuff, <clears throat> you know, so, I mean, I hated to even do this video of talking about, you know, bad news or anything bad when prior to I wasn't angry until she showed up because every time, I mean, if somebody's making threats at you and say, tell you what they're going to do. You can't just ignore that. But I don't know what's the best way to deal with this or how to deal with, I mean, you know, if if, if I contact the police, I can't do, deal with them because 
if they're part of the gang stalking, they would do stuff like provoke me to anger on purpose to get me riled up so that they can have an excuse to arrest me or perform some form of police, like attempted murder kind of police brutality on me. And then make it like it was justified. So, I I mean, I be trying to avoid the police like the plague. So, I'm not going to eat that muffin today because um, I already had, well, for breakfast, I had the last of the, um, the frosted shredded wheat cereal. And then I had those juices. And I, it seems like the probiotic juice shots that I've been taking this past week seem like they've been helping me sleep better. And then, let's see. Um, For lunch, what did I have? It looks like I had... um. More like a um, make your own burrito or something with uh, just um, ground meat and beans and cheese with the tortilla and some orange juice and two small little cookies. Well, more like, you know, modest sized cookies with, you know, two little things of orange juice. And then, so I don't, I don't want to eat the, um, the muffin. I'll just wait until dinner time. I mean, wait till after I get off from work. But I am maybe because I and I had some water too. But maybe because I need more water, that might be why I'm hungry right now. You know, um. Or maybe I could eat the muffin right now. I don't know, but. Um. I've just been hurt about a lot of things done and said to me lately and about me lately. I'm emotionally, like, extra really sensitive, you know. Um, <clears throat> but you don't have, you know, they don't have the authority or the right to be doing this to me, you know. And they, they're just wicked. Very, oh, and guess what? Um... The veggie just perp. I think it was last night. She made a threat to do voodoo on me. Or witchcraft or whatever. She made that threat to me. You know. But she gave me like subliminal hint. You know. So. What did I do so wrong? Or so bad? And then, you know, I I don't even really get that many supportive comments. And they've been manipulating my thumbs up and thumbs down. And if I get, like, more thumbs up on the same video, it seems like as if now it seems like they've been taking off people's thumbs up and support that I get. They've been taking those off. Like, whoever's doing that, like, if I have seven, instead of, um, taking, resetting everything back to zero. And one video I had, it's like, I know I had some thumbs up and they reset it back to zero and then made it like, as if I had zero thumbs up and 12 thumbs down for speaking the truth. And I mean, I don't know if I should just continue fighting or should I just give up and say, look, I don't even care what happens to me. Do what you want to me. I mean, so I guess for dinner, I'm supposed to have, what I was supposed to have brought to work, supposed to have the, um, you know, mojo pork and rice with black beans, and it has some onions on top. You know, so, um. I'm I'm resting my I, I got my feet propped up 
so I can rest. I'm glad tomorrow's Friday. But Friday, we're supposed to work, do extra and work harder on Fridays. Like, I have to mop the classroom floors on Friday. And make sure it's swept super, really, really good. And so, um, I guess I, I guess it wouldn't hurt to eat that little muffin. It's a small one, but it's I eat seventeen grams of sugar though. But I think I hope I'll be all right. You know, I'm a little scared, but you know, um. But me eating breakfast, you know, at the um at the motel room, you know, having my own little cereal. I mean, like say if you buy a, a three dollar box of cereal and have you some milk, and you can stretch that the whole week. That saves a lot more than. Spending ten dollars a day for breakfast. I mean, I got me some organic milk. It was six dollars and fifteen cents. And I noticed when I was drinking that, I had less mucus production than the regular gallon of milk. You know, for um for three fourteen. But hey, if you get regular milk at a restaurant, it'd be like three dollars for a glass of milk. So that times five, that's like fifteen dollars for you know milk that you. I mean, so I was able to have that liberty to get me some organic grass-fed milk, even though they said it was ultra pasteurized. <clears throat> you know, but I wish that. We can have some raw milk. I heard that's healthier and can cure a lot of diseases and stuff too. You know, raw milk. <clears throat> unpasteurized raw milk. And unpasteurized juices and stuff. Really healthy. Uh, you know, un or natural smoothies and um, fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, <clears throat> so... And I know to eat healthier, like to eat a salad, it's more time consuming than to eat a burger, though. But it has more nutritional benefits and it costs more than a burger. <clears throat> you, you know, to eat a salad, it costs more than a burger. But in the long run, you don't have to worry about going to the doctor or nothing. So, um,. I think it seems like as if my clothes been fitting me a little bigger. Like, as, I don't know if I did lose any weight, but <clears throat> um, I think with this job, I've been eating like a little bit more sweets than usual, like having cookies for lunch or, I mean, cookies with my lunch or, um, you know, <clears throat> but I try to, you know, improve my health where I can, you know, <clears throat> and, and, um, when I have the school lunch <clears throat> and then for dinner, you, you know, I, I have like, I, as I said, you know, this week I did like in advance, I bought like uh, five days worth of, um, food. And some of them I stretched that, like that one dish out for two days, you know, and try to save here and there, you know, wherever I could, rather than spending like at least twenty dollars on DoorDash. <clears throat> you know, I, I can have like seven dollar pre made meal, but I got a microwave it though, but <clears throat> which I heard microwaving ain't really healthy. So <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to find ways to improve myself. And even spiritually, you know, <clears throat> like I slipped today and committed a couple of sins. 
you know, like getting mad and sticking my middle finger up at the gang stalker or whatever, you know, flipping him off. But, you know, I shouldn't do that. But, you know, I, I, I mean, I just, I guess anger get the best of me and consume me and me being frustrated about everything being unfair. <clears throat> you, you know, and, um, I don't get how people who are so successful can bully somebody who's not financially successful. Excuse me. Like how a rich person could be jealous of a homeless person. You know. So I guess I'll eat that little muffin now. And it's supposed to be like a pseudo healthier muffin. Like fake healthier. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, if any noise y'all hear, it's probably the band playing. So, I'm about to um just eat my little muffin and get back to work.